<laughs> Most guitars are for one song. That's why we switch so much, you know. This is Edge's signature model Fender the Edge strap. He loves this model. There's four of these in the show. 52 years I've been doing this since I was 17. And I can't think of another guitarist that I would uh, go do this with. And I love it when he and I are clicking, you know, boom, and, and the guitar is in tune and, and he's doing his sounds and I'm getting the next guitar ready. I, I absolutely love that. The opening song, Zoo Station, it's a 70s, great old instrument. He, he loves this guitar. Only now, since Zoo, he's improved the sound even more. You know, he's improved that like, and it took days. <laughs> I mean, just a guitar tech getting to represent the, this, this guitar and these sounds. And then, again, the chorus sound. You hear it? That was a sound back in those days, and now it's, it's a magnificent sound. It's rough because he wears a headset, right? So he's hot all the time. In the old days, if he had a problem, or if things were good, he could just say off the microphone, you know, do this or do that, please. You know, and now he can't, he's hot, so he can't tell me that there's a problem. So you don't find out till about the encore. Oh, I've never heard him sing this much. Maybe he had, but all the years I've been with him, this new emphasis of harmonizing with Bono and pressing his buttons up there for his different guitar sounds. It's a very talented artist that can do all this, man. Yeah. So this is his 1967 Rickenbacker 12 string. Mysterious ways, even better than the real thing. It's very unusual that he plays the same guitar on two songs. Edge won't stop perfection. One venue, all his sounds are over there, so he can just keep perfecting as he listens back after the shows. And uh, it's amazing that he has that much passion, you know, still. Instead of, well, that's what we've had for the last two or three tours, that sound. Mm -mm. He, he, he keeps trying to perfect it, and it's just, it's just amazing to watch him work, you know? It really is. Plays Atomic City with this 1966 Epiphone Casino. Beautiful guitar, I got this for him. This was made famous by the Beatles, you know? Lennon and Harrison. Before it's plugged in, it's gotta be acoustically pleasing to him. Before you plug it in. You know, I mean, it, it's so cool. So he doesn't rely on the electronics. He does, and he doesn't change out electronics. He doesn't have me change out. All these guitars are pretty much the stock electronics. He's not one of those guys like my, some of my other guitars that I work for. Let's put a different pickup model in the uh, neck or in the bridge. And let's see what that's, Edge, Edge doesn't do that. It works, he loves the sound of it, and that's that. Here's the high end. It's the first tour ever with him that you don't see any amplifiers down here. No amplifiers. Now those used to be so challenging, they'd be so loud on all tours that I had trouble tuning because the volume comes into the hollow body guitars and, and your tuners are going, what? So he discovered these amp emulation pedals, which he's talked about, and, and they're consistent and they're just a pedal. And uh, he loves them. And you know, Edge, you, do, you wouldn't accept almost. So no amplifiers, so it's kind of cool. If I go out there after a show while I'm turning his stuff off, there's always six, eight, just people in tears. The people are in tears from seeing the show, and I just go, I know, I know. And it's one of the most wonderful things to experience. They see these people, they, I mean, they're followers of this band, so if they've, you know, they've, they've followed the tools, they've seen these songs, they've heard these songs with this band before, not like this place. <laughs>